So welcome back. I'm doing a couple more jobs to the Coronation. Um, we saw before that it's finished as far as running is concerned. Um, but I've just got a couple more jobs I want to do to it before it's completely finished. Uh, we saw before the, the charging cable, which I've just unhooked. That and then two these. I wasn't keen on that. So what I've done, I've ordered off of Amazon. Uh, I'll put a, a picture of the listing just there. Ordered these from Amazon. So the next job is to fit this socket to the dashboard, for want of a better word, of the engine, and then make up a lead with that on one end and the banana plugs on the other uh, to go into the box that I've got. So that's where we are now. Um, slight issue I've got so there's these two holes in the dashboard but that passes through so first step is I'm going to need to make uh, a washer I'm going to make a stepped washer so that it holds it central and um, doesn't need much of a step on it because it's only got to locate in that um, dash but I'm going to make a stepped washer to go for that to pass through and then to sit in the dash. So it's now the next day. Uh, I got sidetracked with a visitor yesterday. Um, I did my rummage and I found this bit of stainless tube. Now the, uh, the fitting goes into the tube but doesn't but the thread doesn't pass through so it would just need boring out ever so slightly. So that would be almost ideal. It's half inch OD, which is which is what I was looking for. See, there's a doesn't quite fit in, which is ideal. However, one thing I hadn't done is measure the holes in the dash. And it just passes through. So they're half inch holes. So I need to have a, another little scout for some more material. Right, so I've been having a little hunt out there. I found a short piece of aluminium and I've also found a short bit of brass. Um, both about the same size, aluminium slightly bigger diameter, but I am going to go with the alley purely because everything else on there has a sort of silver finish. So another different colour I didn't really want to add in. So alley it is, we're going to stick it on the lathe drill it, bore it, whatever we need to get it so that the thread just passes through and then turn a little step on it down to half an inch that will fit inside that hole in the dash, part it off um, and then put it up there, put it in. So with the magic of camera work, it's now made, fitted and the wires which are too short to get all the way to the battery I have uh, put a, an extension piece on that's way too long at the moment. I've wound them together and I'm going to solder these. I've also slid onto the cables some heat shrink, which once it's soldered, I'll fold them over and heat shrink. So I've had the soldering on plugged in here for a little while off camera. It's at the limit of being hot enough. So, what I do, the way I find works for me, I'll just warm it up and just keep trying it every now and again until eventually the solder melts into the wires. And once more, some people tin both pieces of wire first, lay them side by side. I don't like to do that. I prefer to know that the solders run right through, like this. Here we go. Oops. 
nicely soldered now. I'm going to bend them over like that, double them over. Uh, one, one in each direction, which keeps them away from each other anyway. But I might have slightly underdone the size of my heat shrink. Um, yeah, my red was a little bit smaller than the blue. It's covered, but I'm not overly happy with it. I'm just going to use a small torch to very gently. All them down. But where I'm not particularly happy with that red, what I'll do, I've got some bigger stuff here. I just need to unwind this in my drawer here of electrical bits and bobs. Cut a short piece. Seems to be folded over at the end. So. There we go. Don't need to get particularly hot for heat shrink. I mean, to be fair, the heat of the soldering iron can be enough as well. So that's that end done. Now we'll just feed the cable through, split it and connect it to the battery. So for these wires to go up into the battery block, I've gone for these slightly different crimps. These ones, the cable goes up inside it and it all gets crimped together. I don't know how well you can see that because I can't see the camera. In fact, I've just had a look and you can't see it at all. So let's try again. So the cable's there, it runs up inside the ferrule, so the cable's actually inside the, the metal bit at the end. And then, it's a different type of crimp, crimps. Same idea as the normal, the other crimps. It just, um, it doesn't have the colors, it's got wire sizes. Here was the other kind we used before. So these terminals can now go inside the battery block. So once again, with the power of editing, we've saved you a bit of boredom. Uh, the cables are now joined into the terminal blocks. Uh, so this part of the engine is ready. I just need to make the cable to go to the charger. And what I'll do 
these cable, this cable which fed it before, I'm going to once again solder this onto the end and then uh, we'll be good to go. Uh, I've just showed you the soldering process. I won't show you that again. I'll just show you when it's done. So that is it. It's now finished. And according to that single light on top of the charger, it is charging. When that single light turns to a, an orange and a green, then it's reached its full charge and it's just on float. So, short of, I'll, I'll unplug this, put the lid back on, and then for now, it's finished. So with the bodding back on, as far as I'm concerned, it's finished. Uh, it can go out to, to be used every now and again. The only things left to do um, as maybes is I was thinking about making a little bracket that sat here um, so that when the controller is plugged in, you can just hook the controller onto it for transport or if you're just leaving it on a siding or whatever, so I just had somewhere to stay. Um, so that's the only mechanical thing to do to it. Um, I might think about, there's, there's see three lights across the front. Down here. Once upon a time they worked. Um, I, might look at getting them to work again. Um, as I remember, they used to plug in via a plug and socket that was attached to the body, and as it dropped in, it would it made the connection. Because you're lifting it on and off, it gets knocked, it didn't last. Um, but because we're now not lifting on and off all the time, there's no need for that body to come off unless there's a problem with it, whether the battery's dead or whether the like dead as in won't take a charge anymore. Um, or if we're doing any, any work to the electronics. But uh, for me, that's that's not the biggest issue. Um, so it could get the lights back and I might even just, although I have noticed a problem with the 4QD controller. Um, we had someone at the club last week who had one of these with him and uh, I believe this one does the horn, it's a bi-directional switch, so that um, you can have two two-tone horns. But the other switch, which should do the lights, is also a sprung-loaded sensor off. So there is no switch on there which can just take a horn. Um, but there's a couple of holes in the dash still. I could put some lights on and, and put a switch on the dash. Um, it's not the end of the world. So yeah, that's that's it done. Um, if anyone happens to have any photos of the full size version of this, let's um, give you another little look. If anyone knows a full size picture, let me know. Um, let me know where I can find it. Um, it might get a repaint one day. So that's a potential for the future but for now like I say I'm happy with it it's only a toy for the kids at the moment so um, it, they will have fun with it as it is so thanks for watching um, I can tell you what's coming next um, if I walk out into the I've had a massive tidy up look at all that space I've spun this bench around which as you can see Rory's pom-pom is back on the bench. Um, you can see it's currently a 202. Um, so my next job with it is to finish the crank axle. The axle itself is finished. It just needs to push, push the wheels on. The wheels are in that tin there. Push the wheels on. Uh, get them quartered. Then I can... Um, get the valve gear set, get it running on air, then think about paint and a few other little jobs here and there. So thanks for watching. Um, as always, incredibly grateful for all of you that do watch. 
I think that vaguely came out in my in my, my words. Um, yeah, la last time I checked, I was on nine hundred eighty six followers, which is incredible. Um, only fourteen away from a thousand, which would be incredible to get to. I would love to get to that this month if I can. Um, who knows? Uh, but yes, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please do subscribe. Uh, tell your friends, let them subscribe. Um, but for now, um, have a good day, have a good night, and in, I hope I'm giving you some inspiration to get some work done, or just giving you some pleasure by, by watching the videos. So, I'm going to stop waffling now. Thanks for watching, see you next time.